see, this question comes from Mac, and excuse me guys if I'm squinting. Uh, is there a difference between doing SEO for getting into the three pack listing uh, under the maps and regular organic SEO, or uh, are they together or are they separate? So really, if you're trying to rank uh, locally uh, for organic and you're trying to rank in maps, so those two separate processes are kind of, are they the same thing? At the end of, <laughs> At the end of the day, for me, they're the same thing. Uh, and they're the same thing because the thing that you do to rank really well, um, and let me just pull up my video just to make sure I'm writing and you guys can see it. Um, the thing at the end of the day that helps you rank inside of Google Maps, for example, is the on-page, well, let's not call it on-page just so there's no confusion, is the let's call it the GMB, Google My Business Optimization. And folks, at the end of the day, this is just making sure that all of your pictures are filled out, you got all your categories in there, you got as many images as you can, right? You've got good descriptions, right? Like you have done everything that you can inside of that account, right? You're, you're dropping in uh, Google My Business posts on there, you're doing everything in there that you can. Okay, so that's a great start, right? But then after that, really everything else is gonna help your organic SEO as well. So this is the only thing that's really specific to maps only, okay? And this is gonna take you like maybe an hour or two to, to really get down, right? So one to two hours. And then the rest of the stuff that you do to rank inside of Google Maps has double duty or it does double duty, right? So it's not only helping you guys rank uh, in Maps, but it's helping you guys rank organically as well. So for me, the process is really the same, okay? The process is really the same. So then you do like citations. Um, and even if you're not a local business, I would still be doing citations. Why? Because these are very high authoritative very high domain authority or trust rank or whatever word you want to use, right? These are very high authority listings, right? These are very easy to get backlinks from. Back in the day, like years and years ago, uh, you would get a lot of links and a lot of link value, right? From high authoritative websites that were all like directories. Those directories like BOTW and business.com and, and Joe Ant and so many of the other directories are really gone these days, right? Like they have no authority in Google's eyes. But these local citations and local directories, they still have lots of value in Google's eyes. They still have high domain authority, uh, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go build citations whether or not I have a local website or it's a national website. And, and what I mean by that is, is even if I wanna rank an e-commerce site and I wanna rank it nationwide or I wanna rank it worldwide, I'm still going to go get citations, okay? And, and to take it further, I'm still going to set up a Google My Business and I'm going to optimize the Google My Business. So the reason that I'm going to do this, right? The reason that I'm gonna do the Google My, Google My Business optimization um, for an e-com site is because I want this to pop up when somebody does a search for my brand, right? So for e-com, optimizing a GMB can be a great way to control your reputation, okay? I'm gonna do citations because citations for an e-com site or a nationwide site, right, are very good low-hanging fruit in terms of backlinks. Like, you can't get a better return anywhere to get a lot of high domain authority links for as cheap as citations are, like, good, good luck, right? So for, for me, they're really the same, okay? And no matter uh, if I'm doing a website that's trying to rank in maps or, it, or we're not trying to rank in maps, I'm still going to do the GMB optimization. I'm still gonna do citations as well. And those are the two big things in terms of ranking inside of Google Maps. Um, and, and ranking a GMB for your business name, right? With the knowledge panel. And so when you do a search for the brand, it comes up on the right or it comes in kind of a map pack. You know, there's, there's different variations of how it shows inside of Google. But no matter what, I'm going to handle both of these. Okay, and I'm going to, to do both of these. So really at the end of the day for me, the process is the same. Okay, so Mark, um, this was a really good question. For me at the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to do this all the time, okay? So for me, it's the same process to answer your question. So I hope that makes sense.